So I have just moved back home, back from my uni flat, and I have got boxes upon boxes of books. <laughs> so basically I just thought we'd do a fun video of you accompanying me getting my bookshelves back in any kind of order. <laughs> because they are in a bit of a mess. Yeah, lots of stuff, just not in the rightful place. And because I am going to have to put quite a lot of books um, back in my bookshelves, like any books that I have read in the last five months need to be put on the bookshelves. We're going to have to do a lot of moving about because I organise by genre. So yeah, let's do it. Most of these uh, boxes are unread books. So we're going to tackle them last. The first thing that we need to tackle is basically these books. They are the books that I have read. So um, we need to get them back on shelves. There's also like loads of books not in the right place because my family bought them while I've been away. Obviously they don't know where things go. So let me, oh my God, what should I do? I don't know, I'm not psychic. Let me take you around the bookshelves as they are right now. We'll chat about that and then we'll sort these books out. And all the and the vast majority of these books won't take us that long to sort out because they are just gonna go on my back of my book cart. But the bookshelves are definitely gonna require some rejigging. <laughs> Up here, this bit here is contemporaries. So I'm debating moving the contemporaries over to the other bookshelf and making this whole top shelf mystery thriller. I think that might be the first thing that I do. These are just, I told you there's those wayward books lying around that people have just borrowed. <laughs> then this is mystery thriller. Then this shelf is my favourite hardback shelf. I do want to move The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter into one of these facing out positions. I think I'm going to take off The Night Circus, although I do love that cover. So on this shelf we have got um, contemporaries. Uh, contemporaries? We've got... <laughs> What's that? Um, I don't know. There's something that says in that tone of voice, I was thinking. I remembered what it is and it's... Back rolls. Oh, we've got graphic novels here, which I want to keep there, even though the rest of this shelf is gonna be like fantasy and murder mysteries and like dark and horror and darker stuff. I do like having this little bit of lightness because I think the other shelf is more like light hearted books. But I do like having this here and I like how this looks when I'm filming to have these here because they're nice and colorful. And then fantasy starts here and here. This shelf, apart from Wilder Girls, um, is all kind of books that I am like, I'm not very good at unhauling. I am gonna have to do that at some point, but these are all books that I'm not bothered about. They're mostly books I read when I was like 13, so like eight years ago, but they're books I don't wanna unhaul yet, which I probably will unhaul soon. But for now, we're gonna start doubling up fantasy in front of this. So we're just gonna like cover all these books up and have it double stacked, basically. Let's take you over to the other bookshelf. This top shelf is non-fiction. So that's probably gonna stay as it is. Hang on, that was in the wrong place. Let's put you here. And then on this shelf, we've got romance, then kind of like literary fiction, then a classic and then magical realism and fabulism. Hardback um, thrillers, because they don't fit on that top shelf, which is fine. I'm happy with like some being over here. Um, and then we've got sci-fi. This is in the wrong place. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Let's go get all of my red books out and put them into their genres and kind of put them roughly where they need to go. problem I have right now is I got rid of where like magical realism, fabulism, surrealism was on that shelf. There's not room for it over there and I want it to be higher up. I know it sounds stupid. Is that true? It's very true. But I like 
genres I like to be like high up on the shelves because that's what you see more. So I think I'm going to add that to opposite contemporary and we'll just make fantasy go a little bit lower basically. But first things first, we're going to change and do up the thriller mystery shelf. What I think I want to do, will this fit? I actually want to do like a lying down stack. Please say you'll fit. Oh yeah, okay, this is what we're going to do. change I want to make to this shelf is taking the night circus off and putting in the strange case of the alchemist's daughter I think yeah but I also think I'm going to take middle game off of here and put the night circus there I love the night circus cover of the edition I have but I feel like if I was to put it face out on a lower shelf it would just be wasting room I need to kind of maximize room until I get another bookshelf really but I don't really know when it's gonna happen so for now let's just have that like that right this shelf's having a bit of a mare <laughs> excuse me excuse me excuse me so first oh shit no <gasps> I didn't put this on the mystery shelf like we've got room for like a thin paperback <laughs> up there friend has come to join us. Say hello, Lux. Lux, what's this? Wow, you sleeping in the microphone? That's nice. Look at my books, Lux. Wow. Let's add in Heartstopper in its rightful place. Aww. Angel Sing. Oh my god, she's so cute. Then I want to add in all of my like surrealism, uh, low fantasy. I actually want it to go here now. And then let's have a think about what fantasy I want on this shelf with this stuff. a few more books which is good and this shelf is more full now okay so I just sorted this out so now we've still got sci-fi here and then um, like historical fiction here with a bit of room and then down here we've now got like literary general fiction here we've got like horror-ish stuff here and then my poetry stuff here okay so that is my bookshelves pretty much reorganized everything put into its rightful place i'm really happy with how they look actually some of the shelves in particular i'm really happy with so now <laughs> the big task really is to sort out all of my unread books now most of them are just gonna go on my book cart but what I actually want to do is separate out the ones that I have dedicated reading vlogs planned for which is quite a lot I have probably my videos planned up until like September so there's a lot of books that I have allocated to dedicated reading vlogs and so what I want to do is separate those out and kind of group them together um, just so I can visualize that and see which ones I have already dedicated videos to so that's gonna be a slow process 
I'm gonna go get a drink and then we'll start it. <laughs> It, that is all of my bookshelves and my book cart reorganized. I am so happy to be back with all of my books in one place. I did not manage, <laughs> I didn't manage to fit all of my um, unread books onto this cart and we're running out of room on the bookshelf so it's not good, it's not looking good. <laughs> I lost the hope today, I'm in. I think in a couple months I'm going to reorganise my room so I have less room for other things but more room for bookshelves. I think I'm going to like have them in the corner where my bed currently is, I'm not sure. But in a couple months time we'll tackle that. But I am happy with all of my 2020 run releases on this top shelf. They're really what I need to start prioritising because I not, have not read a lot of them and I was so excited for so many of them so I need to prioritise them but I'm also happy with my other shelves and the way they're looking. I think they all look really really cute. So yeah let me know how you organise your bookshelves down in the comments. I would love to know. Maybe I'll get a bit of inspiration for mine and yeah thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you very very soon in another one. Bye!